Rashomon is, is the most interesting for me of Kurosawa's films. Uh, that and The Throne of Blood, I, I, those two stand out the most. Uh, the Throne of Blood was more accessible because most uh, uh, non-Japanese audience, uh, uh, audiences had at least knew the basic story of uh, Macbeth. This was more creative because I don't think we'd seen anything quite like this. The main thing here is that when one sees a film, you see the characters on screen. It's not like reading where you imagine certain things. You see very specific things. You see a tree, you see a sword. Uh, so so you take that, one takes that as truth. But in this film, you take it as truth and then you find out that it is not necessarily true. And you see these various versions of the episode that has taken place that these people are talking about. And you're never told which is true and which isn't true, which leads you to the proper conclusion that it is all true and none of it's true. So it becomes a poem and it cracks this visual thing that we have in our minds that if we see it, it must be a fact. In other, in reading and in radio, where you don't have these specific visuals, your mind is making them up. So what my mind makes up and what your mind makes up or your mind is never the same. The um, trial or the testimony scenes that we keep going back to and you see the two figures behind the person giving the testimony. We, we never see the interrogator. So this person is speaking to the audience, but as if the audience were the interrogator. It's as if I, the audience, were saying, what happened? I saw th this other guy told me something else. And you get a different version of it. There's one fact that takes place in all of them, and that's the death of this this one man. The rest of it is, it's a, it's a it's a poem, and it's dramatic, and it works, and it changed. I think it certainly changed my perception about what is possible in film, and what is desirable. You you just have to be able to let the audience come to that conclusion. They say, oh, that isn't what happened. And everybody that you would talk to about, if you sit down and make a person see the film and ask them questions, you would not get the same answers from anybody, which is the art of art. That's what art is. It's, uh, it, it, it penetrates your intellect, your mind, and uh, your experience in history has to react on this new information. But you're reacting from your own persona on it. And that's what gave, gives it the power, I think. The camera work was fantastic. You had always, you were always under these leaves. And so it, we, it wasn't clear. The, the look of the film tends to diffuse it. It's like a painting if you paint impressionistically. Had he shot that whole film, for instance, under an open sky, it would be quite a different film. But putting it into that dapple, you never knew where you were or where you weren't. <laughs> and the thing that stays the most in my mind are those shots of the sun through the trees and that movement, the constant movement. It's said that Kurosawa was the first one that ever pointed his camera at the sun. I was shooting television then, and when I saw that, I went out, to, I went to work the very next day, and it absolutely emulated one of those shots. I have. I, I don't remember what the piece was even, but I remember I had someone in a swing, and I kept swinging, I had the camera in the swing, and I'd swing up and see all that, that stuff through it. I was fascinated with that. I've, I've done that ever since. That rain, I love that rain. Rain is a real emotional trigger that works in any film. I love weather and uh, rain or extreme heat or wind or snow, any, anything that's excessive because it gives you a, another blanket, so to speak. It gives you another layer that the audience can relate to sensually. 
I mean, to me, every element of that film was part of that film, part of the poem. The acting style of Mufuni and, and, and the Japanese actors is quite different from the English-speaking European styles of acting. It served me. The woman, particularly, I thought was good. The Mufuni character, I might have felt, was a little exaggerated, but that's the music of that culture. A Japanese person will never see the film the same as a non-Japanese person will. The Japanese culture knows that history of, uh, of the samurai, that, like we do the, the American Western. Uh, every culture has their own uh, set of what you grow up as children. So we miss a lot of that in, in this film uh, because it's, we just don't have the background. But the best thing about it was for uh, non-Japanese audiences is that there was not a lot of dialogue. It was, it was a visual film, and the, the, di the titles are almost like just to keep you up with it. You know, it's the visual stimulation that hits the audience. And that's the reason for film. Otherwise, we should just turn the light out and call it radio. So it's a great film. It's a, it certainly had its influence and continues to have an influence on me.